In the early foundations of what we now call the Americas, there lived a man, an alchemist from a small village in the great northern woods. He often sold potions to cure ailments of the mind, body, or soul. However, he always procured the reagents needed by doing the most heinous of crimes, grave robbing. Because of his nocturnal disposition and rather unpleasant demeanor, he was shunned by most of the populace. Eventually, however, there was an outbreak of plague and it caused the village to seek him for help. Tirelessly, he sought answers, eventually having to resort to his hobby of overturning graves for answers. As he neared a solid solution, he was caught, hand in the cookie jar, as it were, and the town's people eventually blamed the plague on the alchemist and forced him from his hovel. Chasing him through the trees with weapons and torches, the man fled, carrying with him the cure to the plague. While looking back at his pursuers, he tripped and fell. The cure found its mark through a makeshift syringe into his chest and piercing his heart. The townspeople found him down. His end met during the impalement, or so they thought. Many years passed, and the small village has since grown into a bustling town. Slowly, the alchemist re-emerged from his unmarked grave, his name long forgotten. He had beaten death through alchemical means, and yet something deep within him had changed. He is now obsessed with regaining life, thusly leading him to stitch body parts onto himself whilst hiding in the woods. He started with corpses, but found their parts too degraded to be of any use. Since the switch to fresh meat, he has replaced almost every part of his body, and he still practices his alchemical craft out here in Phobia. We now refer to him as Stitches, and he can be found anywhere just off the path. Be careful where you walk at night, because you might become another basic alchemical ingredient in a grand experiment, or even less, spare parts. <laughs>